In this short video, I'll be talking about the dynamic between the active and the receptive experience of meditation. Now again, as uh, so often with these little videos, they're applicable to any kind of meditation. Uh, here I'm talking about a general approach and a general principle. So approaching our meditation in terms of the relationship between the active and the receptive is a wonderful exploration, even an adventure. You start to get a sense that it's already happening actually, but that you're becoming more conscious and more aware of this relationship <coughs> or these aspects of your experience. So very generally, you could say that the active is embodied by intentionality and attentiveness, saying, I'm going in this direction. Uh, this is what I'm going to be doing. This is what I'm going to be aware of. And the energy and the effort to kind of to do that. The receptive is the, the taking in and being open to whatever it is that you're paying attention to. So uh, an analogy that I think is quite uh, useful here is that of the naturalist. The naturalist can uh, find uh, a pool or a pond where they want to notice animals. And just as the sun is setting, they go and they sit quietly by a tree and they sit very, very quietly and they're just receptive. They're just noticing, taking in more and more of what happens. And then as things get stiller and quieter, the animals start to arrive. The naturalist in that sense is just open. They're not very active. There is a sense of direction to their uh, awareness. They're pointed in the direction of the pool. <coughs> As animals come to the pool, he is open to everything. He notices everything. And there's a general receptivity to what happens. And uh, there might be expectations, but he just lets them go. There might be knowledge that usually an animal does this, but he lets that go. He just notices what is there. Now, this sort of receptive, open, quality in meditation is primary. One needs to be able to develop and let this quality unfold over time. That uh, you, you let the receptivity to your qualities and to your object of meditation open and deepen. But the other aspect of the active is also very important. And the analogy here is of the naturalist who's tracking an animal. Now, with tracking an animal, you uh, are in a way asking questions. You've got a couple of traces of the animal, maybe a, a few footprints or bits of hair left on the grass. And you, uh, you follow. You're noticing what's happening, but you are actually following quite clearly that animal. And at certain points, you're even asking what happened here. There might be a, a sort of a flurry of footprints or a change in the foliage where it's, it's broken. And you're asking what happened here. So there's more active direction of attention. And in that way, you notice, ah, here, the deer turned around and here it nibbled a piece of grass and oh look here's another animal one slightly smaller one slightly bigger perhaps they're a pair you know and what are they doing here and in that way your uh, your active uh, attention your active questioning points you into a particular experience of the relationship of those animals and what's going on. And uh, 
at a certain point, as happened to me, you might look up and they're just standing there looking at you in slightly amazement that someone's on their hands and knees tracking them. Uh, but the analogy of the asking questions and the, uh, the pointing of a particular direction is applicable to uh, meditation. That there is a sense of you're actively pointing yourself in the direction of your uh, overall experience of your mind, the qualities of your mind, what's happening, what's here, what's it like, how does it feel. Uh, and that directiveness is active and it puts you in touch or is in relationship to the receptive, which you can, which then allows you to become absorbed in what's here. And it's the same with focusing on something like the breath. You are saying, come here, that's active. And then when you feel it, experience it, you then open and are receptive to it. And in this way, these two facets, major facets of experience of uh, the active attentiveness and directedness uh, and the experience come together. And you're absorbed in the process uh, as it unfolds and develops.